Hi, this is Deb, back in the craft room. Um, today, I'm going to do a card that was inspired by Sam Calcott. She did a card on her live this week, which was using um, Sharon Callis's Papercraft Society box, which was from March, I think. Um, so it's these flowers, and she put it on a card in a box frame type thing. So I've changed it a little bit. I've, I'm using a different size card. I'm making a different size frame. And I'm only going to be using the daisies. So I have... Let's put that to one side now. I have cut a few of the daisies. There's just a couple of them because I won't make you sit through me making all of them so I thought we'd make a one or two I'm just, the first thing I did was I colored the uh, yeah, colored the inside I think I'm probably going to um, put a gem in there anyway but I thought I'd color it just uh, just in case I didn't so a bit of alcohol ink pen this is a spectrum noir LYO1, but just a yellow colour of some sort. So, and you, when you die cut these out, they do put in a, a score line, but um, on mine it's very faint, and it is always a, a good idea to go over score lines anyway, it just makes life a bit easier. So, we just need to line this up. So we've got a track in the middle of this and we're going to do a score line down there. Okay, pop that up there. We're just going to fold this It's quite thin so just take it slowly Very carefully, just burnish that down. And with the kit, you get this little tool that's going to help fold it up. So you just pop that in there, add some glue. I'm just going to put a few dots of glue along there and then, oops, that slipped out, slip that back in again and then you're going to fold it up or wind it up, I don't know what. So, and make sure it sticks at the end, and then just ease it off the tool, and you are you end up with this. So, then all you need to do is ease the petals out. Rearrange them a little bit so then Not 
too crooked in places. And there you have your quite a lifelike looking little daisy, which is very cool. There's other flowers in there as well. Sam used some different flowers. I'm just using daisies because I want to clean and simple mine a little bit. So there's our daisy. So I'm just going to do the other one. Okay, so next we are going to need four pieces. I know I've only got two, but I've done two already. So four pieces of of three by two and a half. I mean, you can do these any size because this is going to be the size of the frame, but this is the size that I want. So once you've seen how it's done, you can change the size. You'll be able to see how to do that quite easily. And on the on the that side, yep, on the short side, you want to score at half, one, one and a half, and two on one of them. And on the other one, you want to score the same half, one, one and a half and two but then you want to swing that round and on the half inch score line you want to score down just to the first score line and then at two and a half down to the first score line flip it round and do the same again so half down to the first score line two and a half down to the first score line so you will have something that looks like that okay so fold and burnish all of these so you'll have two two pieces that look like this and all you need to do is just trim a tiny slither off the end of the of the last one there and then you're going to put some glue on that tab that you've just trimmed. And then fold it over. This the trim trimming the piece off just makes it so that there's um there's less bulk and it all it will come nicely into a little square. So you'll have two pieces that look like that and then you'll have two pieces of this one and what you need to do is where you've done the score line cut up to the first score line and angle your scissors and you're going to cut diagonally to the next score line okay and then you're going to do that the same on this one and diagonally so you have that and then the other side you're just going to take the squares off completely like that and like that so you've got this sort of shape and then on this tab at the bottom you want to just take a little bit off again just to take the bulk away put the glue on your tab and then if you fold those two up and then fold that one over and stick it down and so you're going to have two that look like that and two that look like that. Oh, 
do it so you can actually see it. Okay, okay, so to make the frame, take one of the pieces that you've cut, a little bit of glue in there, and a little bit of glue on the top, and take one of your long pieces. And you're going to slide that in there like that. And you want to make that it, sure it's a, a nice right angle. So you can use the lines on your mat or if you've got a T-ruler or something just to make sure that it's... And let that take hold. Take... The next one, a little bit of glue in there, a little bit on the top, and that's going to slide in there, like that, and make sure you've got a nice right angle on that as well, let that take hold. So now you've got this. So on the final piece, you're going to put glue on both sides. On those triangles there. And a little bit underneath. And you're going to get your final piece. And that will slide in. Like that. So now you've got your little box. So my little box is going to go on a six by six card. like that and then all these little flowers are going to go inside so the fact that that's very white on white I might see what it looks like with some maybe some orange underneath or some blue so if that was just on the back there I think I might do that, so I like that with just a tiny bit of extra coming over, so that'll be, that'll be on there, and then we'll have our flowers in there. Okay, this die set has also got these little leaves, so I thought we would cut out some little leaves in a green. So we'll just find something that goes nice. I think that goes nice with the orange. Okay, so let's um, get this stuff onto here first. Okay, I think I'm going to put some little dots in there. I found these little adhesive neon from Do Craft.
that's our finished card thank you for watching and i'll see you next time okay bye